Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I know it's been a while. We were on vacation, having a great time, living it up, but now we are back on the grind. So recently, Unishek posted the August Drop Pod preview, and while there are some cool things in there about doubles coming, even the ranked version, region select, which means better connections, the ability to see challenges in the pause menu during games, which is something that everybody has asked for since launch, the most, I guess, important section talks about cross core and more specifically how visors will now work on all cores and they're also working on improving the customization options of the mark 7 helmet attachments so that you can wear them across a multitude of the helmets now that being said i've seen a lot of other videos get uploaded over the weekend talking about is this too little too late why did they pick visors saw a video in my recommended saying that only one person is working on halo infinite because i guess this proves why because they're starting with visors and i have a lot of thoughts on that but before we get into the actual video if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe get all the halo info you will ever need we are getting so close to 10k subs and we will have a 10k subscriber montage coming out when we hit that here's a little preview Just a sneak peek, just a sneak peek. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below because it greatly helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. And leave me a comment down below on how you feel about this. So basically, everybody's, I guess, kind of upset because we're getting visors cross core first. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that I do think it's because it's probably the easiest thing to do. The texture or mesh or whatever it is that makes up the visors, you know, there's a set area on each helmet slash visor that you just i would assume not that it's as easy as copy and pasting but pretty much that and then it should just work that's why i think they started with visors first because they knew that it was going to be something easy that they could ship out they probably thought that people would be excited but like anything in life you know everybody's kind of pointing more towards the negatives would i have enjoyed having armor coatings first absolutely i think that would have been what i would have wished for but I think visors are a, a decent second place because I feel like doing the actual armor cross core customization, there is going to be a lot of issues and stuff. And I know people will be like, but the bots can do it and people are already hacking the game to make cross core possible. And I get that, but I just think that it's probably easier to start with the more cosmetic items such as attachments, visors, armor coatings. Now look, I got a lot of armor coatings I want to use on the Mark V B. Trust me, I just got the Primal Glory one from the Super HCS event. And my Mark V is looking pretty plain. So all in all, am I upset that we're getting visors first? No. Really, I'm happy that we're just getting anything at this point. Will I be more excited when it's, you know, cross? core armor customization and armor coatings absolutely but we've seen how long it takes for 343 to kind of get this stuff rolling we know the challenges they've been facing since launch losing people and trying to work on other things like co-op and with forge right around the corner and all those leaks i think people have you know their expectations are pretty high right now and what content they can churn out at 343 but that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will catch you around the ring peace